So, earlier today we discussed a tweet posted by the official Cyberpunk 2077 Twitter account which has proven to be pretty controversial. We live in an age which unfortunately you can't really say jokes without offending someone, and this very much is another case of just that. Many games journalists have been the most vocal and outraged by this tweet, with one specific journalist claiming the game will be the least cyberpunk because of this tweet, I guess? But numerous of random users have accused CD Projekt Red of being transphobic, and some are even now complaining about The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. On websites like Reset Era, you have people being banned left and right for simply not seeing why this joke has so many people upset. Now the tweet that has so many people angry came to be when another user posted about their excitement and wanting to see more of the game, saying, I want to see more guys, although I will say a comma probably should have been inserted, but anywho, someone running the Cyberpunk 2077 Twitter account responded with, did you just assume their gender? <laughs> But yeah, this caused outrage as many took this joke as mocking transgender people. While personally I think this is just a bad joke that isn't really used very often anymore, obviously people took offense. I said it before, but I will say it again. CD Projekt Red didn't mean to insult anyone. They posted a joke that, well, obviously didn't go over well with many. As I said before, you can't make jokes anymore without backlash. Hell, apparently the phrase PC Master Race is controversial. I always thought it just meant PC gamers thinking they're better than console players, but I guess even this is offensive? Because Master Race was an ideology used by the Germans in World War II? Anyway, CD Projekt Red has apologized like I expected, saying on Twitter, sorry to all those offended by one of the responses sent out from our account earlier. Harming anyone was never our intention, which people have found this apology to be controversial as they think CD Projekt Red is not being sincere enough and only apologizing because of the pushback. But I thought it was kind of obvious and it's even more clear now, someone managing Cyberpunk 2077's account tried making a joke, they didn't realize it was controversial. I mean this is a Polish company, English is probably their second language, and I have to believe they didn't know that this phrase would make people upset. But yeah, right now it almost feels like the negativity and anger over these tweets are only growing. You have people responding saying, look at the replies to this, this is your fan base. this is who you attracted, maybe think about why and how that is, and also, this is weak. A decent portion of the audience interested in the game were drawn into cyberpunk fiction in the first place because it allows them to explore gender fluidity and sexuality in ways they often can't in the open. Often for safety reasons, your tweets undermine them, and also, to those coming to the defense of a tasteless joke, you're hilarious, saying don't bow to the snowflakes while complaining like said snowflakes, gotta love that hypocritical logic. And also, they deleted their tweet, but CD Projekt Red Cyberpunk 2077 is dead to me because they couldn't help but to do a did you just assume my gender joke. Thanks for deciding that one for me, lads. And it continues on and on. I will add that there has been tons of support for CD Projekt Red with people finding this as a non-issue. You have users saying it was funny, stop bowing before the PC army that destroys every last bit of fun. You choose to be offended. Many have also brought up and compared this to the controversy surrounding Doom Eternal in which many were offended by some of the voiceover dialogue and the QuakeCon gameplay reveal. Now with people thinking this tweet from someone probably from the social media team means the game won't be a true cyberpunk experience, I find that as an extreme reach. I say that because the man, the myth, Mike Pondsmith, creator of the cyberpunk role-playing games who is working with CD Projekt Red on this video game, said the game would be political, as that's kind of important to this genre. He recently stated on a Reddit post about this, No, it's political. Cyberpunk has always been political. That's where the punk part comes in, Chumba. Wikipedia says, Punk subculture includes a diverse array of ideologies, fashion, and other forms of expression, visual art, dance, literature, and film. It is largely characterized by anti-establishment views and the promotion of individual freedom, and is centered on a loud, aggressive genre of rock music called punk rock. Its adherents are referred to as punks, also spelled punks in the modern day. Punk politics cover the entire political spectrum. Common punk ethos include anti-authoritarianism, a do-it-yourself ethic, non-conformity, direct action, and not selling out. It doesn't have to be heavy-handed preaching, but if you're out in the street fighting for your space, you're being political whether you want to call it that or not. 
But yes, of course, the game will cover what cyberpunk is. I mean, this is supposed to be a future in which corporations run everything. The future of possibly what capitalism may or may not be. But will it feature something for a specific agenda like the one waypoint Vice is promoting? Maybe not. Although even then, you can roleplay the game to fit who you want to be. But people getting outraged and painting this game to be what it's not is the problem. This was just a tweet, and I really think a lot of those offended are probably not even interested in this title and are just looking for something to get angry about. But I personally just find the timing of all this unfortunate because this stupid incident has overshadowed some of the new Cyberpunk 2077 images and information that were shown and discussed at Gamescom. Right now, also, I'm starting to see articles written on this mess like with Segment Next writing, Angry Mob is going after Cyberpunk 2077 over an inappropriate joke. And it also looks like Kotaku has even addressed this situation with their own article. Hopefully this is the end of the situation, but really what this tells me is that you can't make jokes anymore without making someone upset. But CD Projekt Red apologized, made sure to let people know that there was no ill intent by the tweet, and now let's all just move on because the fact that this is an issue and people are still saying they will boycott is absolutely insane to me. Anyway, what do you make of this situation and the apology? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, but thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value and consider subscribing for more videos like this, and I'll see you later.